Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Expedition Homestead. Thank you all so much for tuning in to today's episode. We'll be talking about how, as beginners and advanced gardeners, we're always searching for the most efficient and uh, the latest and greatest way to grow our fruits and vegetables, crops, and gardens. But sometimes Mother Nature just has a different way of doing things. I am Mother Nature. Today's episode is truly going to illustrate that. We had a really surprising result with our tomatoes that we've been growing this year. I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. So when growing our tomato plants earlier this year, we were transplanting them outside. I had a ton of Cherokee purple tomatoes left over. And instead of trellising them like I did with our Rutgers tomatoes, our beefsteak tomatoes, super sweet 100s, I decided to create a cool little experiment with them. So here's a Rutgers tomato all pruned up and grown into a single stem and our super sweet 100 as well. We've got a beefsteak tomato there. We just harvested most of the tomatoes off of it. And then we had another Cherokee purple that was being trellis, but it just did not do very good. It produced about five of tomatoes for us. And then for some reason it was like it was deadheaded. It just would not grow anymore. All of these tomatoes are producing great and everything, except for the Cherokee purple one that we had to take out, but I, that was just some sort of genetic or growth defect to it. But we've got a ton of tomatoes off the beefsteak, the Rutgers already, super sweet 100s, and then all of the super sweet 100s we have growing over there in the buckets. Those are all producing really well, and I'm, I'm super happy with the results that we've gotten from the single stem method. Very little disease on all of the plants as well, which is exactly what we expect to see. Now, what I didn't expect to see was this. Um, we have really, really, really extremely high rates of pollination and growth on all of the plants that we put down here. Again, these are Cherokee purple tomatoes. We kind of use the same sort of pruning method on those ones as we did the trellised ones, except for what we did was we let them vine out um, as they grew uh, little suckers. I kind of let a few of them grow. So this one is just growing into one stem, but this one you can see is growing into one, two, three different stems. And the same thing with the one over there. We did still prune off some of the suckers and a lot of the extra foliage along the ground where it was going to uh, cause issues with airflow and disease. We did prune those off, but otherwise we've been letting them grow along the ground, not in a cage and not trellised up on a line. These tomatoes are growing absolutely huge and very healthily as well. Some beautiful tomatoes on here. We've already harvested, uh, I think, eight large tomatoes off of these Cherokee purples. And right now we've got about four or five more that we could harvest off before they get too old and start to split. But just giving you a bird's eye view, you know, these are growing along the ground. They're vining along the ground. They're not in a cage, which is why I'm really interested with the results that we've gotten so far. I've never grown tomatoes along the ground before. I've always grown them in cages or trellis them along a line um, or tied them up, but I've never done this before. Like I'm, I'm pretty amazed that we're getting such good results with it. I mean, incredible results that we're getting with these tomatoes. And of course, that makes me extremely happy, but I am very surprised that they're doing so well. I mean, I don't know what else to say. I think that this experiment that I created here just goes to show that sometimes um, simply enjoying the garden and enjoying what we're doing is what gardening should be all about because if we're all concerned about the rules and what might go wrong and the tiny little defects in our plants then we're going to be stressed out because let's face it that creates a lot of stress in our life especially when we 
want to be producing good fruit for our family and friends and neighbors. Slowing down, enjoying the process, enjoying what the plants have to offer, and really experimenting with the way that they grow. I think that's how gardening is really going to take over rural and urban neighborhoods is because if people don't enjoy it, they're not going to do it. Uh, it does take a lot of work to grow a little bit of produce. You're not going to feed your family for an entire year on a smaller plot. But what we can do is create enjoyable experiences for people and to share those experiences. And by doing so, that ignites a nice little flame inside of our hearts that's going to keep us doing it for the rest of our lives. And um, that's going to create a ripple effect in the community and, and the people you know, because they're going to start gardening and growing as well. Maybe they're going to realize throughout the stories that you have to share with them that gardening is not as tough as it might seem. There's no set of rules that you must follow in order to create good produce. You need nutrients, you need soil that is alive, and you need the seeds and water. Besides that, all of, all of the other noise that we might get when trying to learn how to, how to garden, it's just not really valid. Yes, it does have a place. Yes, it can create more efficient growing in your gardens, but it's not absolutely necessary by any means at all. I would say... Just get out there and garden, and then from there, just start to educate yourself more and more on how you can become better at gardening. But if all of these rules are stopping you from starting a garden, you need to step back, think about what it's actually all about, and get that garden growing, guys. Well, I want to thank you all so much for tuning in to today's episodes and checking out the awesome, cool little tomato experiment that we've got here in the garden. If you enjoyed today's video, I encourage you all to hit that subscribe button. Uh, we've got a ton of videos coming out year round and we're always expanding our gardens here. So with that, I wanna thank you all so much for watching. Happy gardening and we'll see you in the next episode.